so for those of y'all wondering, this is the Comcast XB7 modem. I'm going to do a little breakdown of it. Um, basically, it's just like the XB6, but a lot taller. And on the back here, it's got four Ethernet jacks, but they're in the yellow. It's got one, two, three, four. The plug-in is a whole lot different. There's your port. And for those of you wondering, the button for the WPS is right here on the back. You press that in. And when you do, the light up here turns blue. There's a light right there. It'll, it'll change and turn blue. It'll start flashing. And that's how you connect wirelessly to TVs and phones and other wireless devices. Things that, things that connect with the WPS connection. And this thing is Wi-Fi 6. So it's supposed to be the latest, greatest, and best technology in the world. It's supposed to penetrate brick walls. It's supposed to be unlimited gaming, unlimited streaming. Unlimited devices, supposed to be able to connect as many as you want and not lose any speed or latency. Upload speed is supposed to be double that of the XB6. This thing is phenomenal. It is great, and you should have no problems with it. And the thing I do like about it is those four Ethernet jacks, because the other model, the XB6, that gray one, it only had two. So this has four, and it has two phone jacks as well. I didn't show you those. Those are right here. You got one here and one here. Well, that's telephone one and telephone two. So if you get the home phone service, you just plug your phone straight into that. And it will work. It should work. And when you're doing your, your self-install thing, there's a little barcode right there. You're going to scan that barcode. And it's going to automatically add this thing to your account. So if you call in and you order one of these and they mail it to you, that's what you'll do. You'll scan that little barcode down here on the bottom. I'm not going to show it to you because you can get the numbers off of it. But yeah, scan that. And it'll put it on your account instantly. And then you go to the My Account app to activate it. Set up your username and password. Let it upload as best after it does its thing. Unplug it. Leave it unplugged for about 30 seconds. Plug it back up. Let it fully reboot. After this little light right here. There's a light right there. Where that little gap is. That's actually a light. After that turns solid white. And it's no longer flashing. And you should be good to go. You should be able to connect to it and get on online. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please watch my videos, like and subscribe, and word of mouth helps out. It's what they were using for advertising before there was advertising, so please tell everybody about the cable doctor. Keep them coming back for more. Thank you guys.